Hello and welcome to my channel. Today in this video I am going to show you how to use three simple expressions to create stunning animations. Let's talk about the first one, loop out expression. This can be used to make looped animations like this. Grab the pen tool, create a shape like this. Go to the start of the timeline and move the shape layer like this. Bring up the position property and create keyframe at the start of the timeline. Go forward about once again and move the shape layer as shown. Now we have this simple line animation. To loop this, hold alt and click on the stopwatch of the position property to write in the expression loop out. Make sure the O in the out is in capital letter. That's it, we have the looped line animation. Adding motion blur will make this animation much more smoother. You can always duplicate the line shape layer and position them wherever you want. Also offsetting the time will give more depth to the ascent graphic. Let's move on to the second expression, wiggle. I am going to use this wiggle expression to make a flicker like uh, effect like this. So bring up the opacity property on the text layer and hold alt key and click on the stopwatch of the opacity property. Write in the expression wiggle 5 comma 200. Yeah, that's it. We have the flicker like effect. The x value on the expression is the frequency at which the wiggle to happen and the y value of the expression is the amount of wiggle to happen. Fine then let's move on to the third expression, time. I am going to use the shape layer which we have created earlier. Bring up the rotation property and hold alt key and click on the stopwatch of the rotation property and write in the expression time. This time expression can be used along with the mathematical expressions. So if I use the time property without any mathematical expression and the line rotates at 1 degree per second. So when I use the multiplier with the value of 50, the line rotates at 50 degrees per second. So when I use a dramatically high value, it seems like it's creating a star like motion. Since the motion blur is also on, it's creating a star like effect. But if you turn off the motion blur, we don't get that star like effect. So consider using motion blur while using these expressions. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and also click on the bell icon so that you get notified as soon as I post new videos. Like, comment and share. And thanks for being here and supporting me. Thanks for watching. This is Raudran signing off.